travel this morning on Mayor Monday. We're headed to Southwest Washington, checking in with the city of Camas. Historically known as a major paper mill town, Camas has grown to be one of the fastest growing suburban communities in our area. And joining us live with some updates for the city of Camas is Camas Mayor Steve Hogan. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, first of all, we want to talk about some recent news here. What updates do you have for the Nakia Creek fire uh, that started uh, last month? Well, the fire has um, subsided, excuse me for my voice here, but uh, the fire has subsided. Um, there was about 1,900 acres that burned. It um, uh, was, uh, there were, let me see, about uh, 1,900 houses or 2,900 houses that were evacuated. Um, and um, there was no loss of a structure or a, a life or injury. It uh, grew to be, it went from 150 acres roughly on a Saturday to over a thousand acres on Sunday, which was um, the 16th of October. And uh, it, uh, it now is under control. There's a lot of smoldering up there. They've had uh, 16 inches of rain since the 21st of October on that mountain. And um, it's still smoldering. So that's where we are today. Certainly a, a late season fire reminder this year to just uh, really be aware of that through the season and beyond these days. Well, you've got a new Camas Washougal fire chief. So tell us about who's now in that role. Cliff Free he has been with us for almost 20 years. Um, he um, uh, was the successful candidate on the um, round of applicants that we had. And uh, he's an excellent person. And uh, we're glad we swore him in at the last council meeting two weeks ago, and uh, he's off and running now. All right, very good. Congratulations on uh, the new fire chief. And let's look ahead to the holidays. Uh, one thing I have to say, Mayor, I, I love your downtown. Mm -hmm. Your downtown area is, is very cool. Been there for a number of events. Uh, and you're looking ahead to a big holiday event called Hometown Holiday. So tell us about that. Yes, that's going to be on Friday, uh, December 2nd. It'll basically start uh, anywhere after 5 o'clock um, and goes till about 9. Um, once again, it's sponsored by the city. Um, we have the Christmas tree lighting that you see there. Uh, and we also um, have all sorts of vehicles that come from the city, uh, snow plows, police cars, fire engines, EMS trucks that kids can uh, get a chance to uh, look at, get inside, uh, you know, examine. Uh, we also have uh, a church that opens their doors and has uh, what they call gourmet um, ch hot chocolate. And uh, they serve over 2,000 free cups of coffee or cups of uh, hot chocolate uh, to anybody that comes into the church. And inside the church, we have our Parks and Recreation Department uh, having, uh, you know, things that kids can draw with on the tables and uh, have a good event. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun and it's, it's nice to see a lot of holiday events coming back this year. Um, we, we mentioned at the top of the interview here that, you know, Camas is one of the fastest growing suburbs in our metro area. Uh, talk about some of the upcoming development that the city is looking at. I know you've got some projects in the works for the North Shore area and for the Everett Street corridor. Tell us about that. Well, the North Shore area is um, is about 300 acres. It's on the uh, northeast side of Lacamas Lake, and we've bought most of the waterfront area on that northeast side, uh, so that there'll be a tree canopy and a, a very large park. Uh, that's about 100 180 acres that we've purchased, and the the rest of the area is 300 acres, and we're we just finished the beginning of the design process. Uh, we've been looking at this area for up to 12 years, and now we're going to take a deep dive and come up with design standards, and uh, we're trying to target a lot of mixed-use uh, businesses, and uh, affordable housing will be a part of it, but uh, housing of all ranges of prices and uh, those types of dynamics, we're saving a little bit of property for the school district, and uh, so that's a little bit about that area.
All right, very good. Uh, lots going on in the city of Camas, and uh, that paper mill that you're uh, well known for is still operating uh, mm -hmm. today. Not at the extent it yep. was in the past, but it still operates. Yep, it still has 150 employees, and they're uh, they're making hand towels. And uh, the uh, virus helped them quite a bit because uh, those are hand towel machines that you don't have to touch, and uh, they're they're doing pretty well at this point. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Well, thank you very much, Camus Mayor Steve Hogan. We appreciate you joining us on this Mayor Monday. Thank you. Have a great week. You too. And to stay up to date on what's happening in cities all across our area, watch our previous Mayor Monday segments on coin.com. Just click on the AM Extra tab.